Uh, here's one of the hawklets uh, in a tree uh, directly beside the nest tree. Uh, I think this is the male. Uh, the other uh, juvenile is also in the same tree, but uh, quite well hidden. Um, and uh, both uh, have been uh, vocalizing quite a bit uh, up to the last few minutes. There was uh, an adult on the uh, north edge of the park uh, in the uh, high tree, uh, which may have been a recent food delivery. Uh, and the hawklets were continuing to vocalize, uh, perhaps because the adult was around. Uh, probably about six or seven minutes ago, uh, the adult started making uh, keck uh, vocalizations and flew off out of the park, uh, which itself might be a response to the other adult. Um, somewhere uh, she flew off to the uh, east, basically, out of the park. Um, so it's conceivable there could be a food delivery uh, if that was a, uh, uh, a response to the other adult with food, um, the adult that flew out of the park could well be returning at some point uh, uh, in the near future with food, but um, we'll have to see. It's hard to say. I'm starting to get some uh, ideas now about uh, uh, distinguishing these two apart. Aside from size, it looks like one is almost certainly a female and the other is male, um, just based on the sizes. Um, this, this one that I think is the male seems to have a much sort of uh, kind of random distribution of white spots on the upper wings, uh, whereas the, uh, the juvenile that looks female uh, has uh, less of the white modeling on the upper wings and also has like a very symmetric pattern down uh, uh, the sides of the two wings. Uh, so that might be kind of one way of distinguishing them. The other thing about this male, which you can't see right now because it's facing away, uh, is it seems to have a much lighter um, coloration, uh, especially around the uh, chin and the throat, um, than the other one does. So that may be another uh, distinguishing indicator.